Hello there folks, we're doing a little test today of some Modbus Master on this HMI here, talking to a slave here, and also another slave here, and another slave right here. And what we're going to do here is we're going to have all this wired up over an Ethernet switch, so when we go ahead and turn this one on, you see the chart going down and back and up here, you look over this guy and you can see that it's kind of trailing it behind the other one. This one is wired directly to it and there's that chart one there. If I turn on these other ones, here we go, these guys, we can go over to these other two over here and we can start to see that they are moving in conjunction as well. <clears throat> and then if we hit a stop, let's say for instance we hit the stop button on this guy at number 963, we look over here, it's still kind of going up but when it gets to comes back down to 963, it should stop when it catches up communications. There you go. Same goes for these two. If I turn off these two guys here, one's at 1060, the other's at 1090. If we go over here, this guy is 1060, 1090. Perfect. So that's the speed response you have when it's wired. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the Ethernet connection out here that's connected these two together. And instead of doing that, we're going to put a banner wireless into the equation. Whoops, give me a second here. One-handed bandit. So I'll put a banner wireless radio here. There's one banner radio right there. And then we'll go over to this guy. And we'll plug in this banner radio into this switch right here. By disconnecting that guy right there. That guy right there. Plug it in. And now we should have it plugged in. These two guys are already bound, ready to roll. So let's go ahead and turn this on again. Turn on this one. You can see that it's starting to work. If I hit stop over there at the HMI, <clears throat> you'll see it'll catch up. This is wired directly to it. These two are wired directly to it here. 535, it should stop. There you go. Then if I hit the other one, slave number 12, that should be going through the wireless. And that's coming over to this guy right here. And to show kind of its latency, I can hit stop there at 778. And if I come over here, You'll see the guy is still counting up, actually still counting down. When he gets to 778, it should stop. There you go. And then you can see here, this is slave number 13. It's sitting at 1090. If I go over here and turn that guy on, you'll see that it's starting to count down and so forth. And we'll let him count down a little bit here. If we go over here, we can actually see that it is counting down right there. Kind of following suit, if we come over here and go ahead and stop that guy at 624, we come over here and we'll let the radio get caught up, and we're looking for the number 624 to stop at. And there it is. So, and if we go ahead and turn on both these guys on the wireless connection, we're cranking right through that banner radio right there, and you can come over here and you can see there's that banner radio there. And you can see this guy is working away, and this guy's working away. So there is a little bit of delay, but it does get caught up. Certainly not used for, say, streaming video, but uh, you can get the concept here with Modbus TCP communications happening. Thanks.